Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. We have started with DAX. DAX is basically some additional things. So if you want to add some complex formulas, uh, which we are not able to do it in transform data or in some other features, then I'll see like if I can write a DAX over here. And then mm -hmm. in DAX, we have three things. We can create a column or we can create a major or we can create a table actually. That's the three things which you can do it in DAX. Okay. We can create a column or we can create a major or we can create a table like this. So and DAX consists of functions and operators. Okay. And DAX consists of operators and functions like this. Okay. So that is what is DAX. So DAX is basically a language using which we can create some new calculated columns or new calculated majors or tables and all the things. That is what is the intent of DAX over here. And DAX consists of different functions. Uh, okay, DAX consists of some aggregate function. And DAX consists of some uh, string functions. Uh, it consists of some mathematical functions. It consists of some date time functions. Like this, this is uh, so it consists of some other miscellaneous functions like this. Okay. Okay, this is what the DAX is all about. And so DAX only if required will do it. Okay, if not required will not use it over here. Then DAX, so we have gone through all the important uh, functions. Last time, for example, suppose I want to create a function, I'll just go to my table. On the table, I'll go to this functions over here. And here okay. I'll say major like this. Major are basically different types of aggregate functions. And here I'll write it down. I'll say my sum of my... like total sales over here. Yeah. Okay, so like this we can crack, use this tax for creating different columns, majors and other things. And then I'll just try to use it over here. Right? Okay. Like this, we can create this one. Similarly, if I want to write some complex functions, like for example, I want to write a weekend sales. So we have seen like some complex functions, like we use a weekend sales. We have to say sales like this. So calculate some of my fact sales. Okay. And I'll say weekday. Comma. Like this. Like this we can write different tags and then we can start using it over here. Okay. Okay. So this is how we use different functions like this. So like in the last session we have seen, okay, what are the types of aggregate functions over here? Like average, count, count rows, mean, max, sum, these are some of the aggregate functions. Then mm -hmm. we have used some other functions like uh, calculate and uh, filter and all the things. Then we have okay. seen what is last time we have seen what is related. Okay. And what is if else statements, how to write a if else statement we have seen. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have seen the mathematical functions like how to use 
exponential or factorials log and uh, all the things so we can use this functions like for example i want to do some rounding i want to find some square root i can apply this functions on anywhere i just go over here and i'll say new column and then i'll say this is my ah sq and i'll just give a name and then i'll just say square root mm -hmm. okay and then i'll apply this over here okay so i can apply in this way over here okay so like this we can use this and then i can view the values also I'll say this is my SQ value for example. Then on this if I want to further round it, I'll then apply some other functions like rounding functions over here. Then I can round this to a particular number of digits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so like this we can apply different functions over here. So these are some of the calcul arithmetic or mathematical functions like this. Similarly, we have some text functions uh, like uh, lower, upper and all the things like this okay so we have upper we have lower and all the string functions then we have some date time functions like if i want to extract a year uh, yeah. from a date, mm -hmm. i'll just mm -hmm. go over here and try to add new column and then i can apply different types of mm -hmm. yeah yes i uh, like date time functions like year month and all the things on a date column so it will give you the output like this okay So this is how we can apply different date time for functions and all the things. Then we have some functions like calendar. Calendar is used to create a table with a start date and end date. It will create a uh, like a date time table with a start date and end date. So suppose okay. I want to create a table over here. I'll just create say new table. Yeah. And I'll say calendar. That I'll give a start date. Then I'll give define a today for example. This is my calendar. Right? This is my dates and all the things. This will create a date table like this. Okay. Okay, this is basically a calendar functions. It will give you all the dates between these two dates. One is the start date and second is the end date over here. It will give you all the list of dates between these two dates over here. Okay. And that is the calendar then we have some functions like total ytd total ytd will give you the uh, current year sales so suppose i want to find out a total ytd i'll just say this is my i want to find out the total ytd so total ytd will give you the total for the current year okay over here yeah. and also this is my new major mm -hmm. Then I want to find out my current year sales. I'll give you like this. Sales that is This will give the current year sales over here. I'll say. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So I want to find out my last year sales. I'll say new column, new major. And then I'll say this is calculate.
This is my same period last year like this. Sales over here. Okay. okay. like this I can get it. So now I can go and I can see different visualizations. I'll say this is the visualizations. My product. Mm -hmm. The total sales. There's a current year sales. And this is the last year sales like this. Okay. So like this we can do different calculations and all the things over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These are some of the important functions which you use it if required over here. Like to calculate the weekend sales or for example to calculate the current year sales or to calculate the last year sales we have to we can use this different types of tax over here mm -hmm. yeah. thanks for watching the video for full course please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today